What's up guys, I've got some NVIDIA Tegra 4 benchmarks to show you now, just uh, so you know, these are used on reference tablets, we haven't actually got any Tegra 4 devices to use, you can't go out and buy a Tegra 4 device just yet, and reference tablets usually are always in performance mode and stuff like that, so the benchmarks may be slightly skewed, but uh, nonetheless let's check it out. Now these were performed in Barcelona at the Mobile World Congress, so uh, yeah. You can see here from this title, NVIDIA Tegra 4 breaks all sorts of speed records and I've got the benchmarks right here. So let's check out Quadrant. We tap this and you can see an amazing score. Look at that score. I mean, just the CPU score, which is the blue guys, is ridiculous. We've gone over 16,000 and nearly hit 17,000. Now these devices down here are old, like the Samsung Galaxy Tab and the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. But uh, the highest I've ever seen in Quadrant is probably about 7,000, 7,000, 8,000. And you can see here the Tegra 4 CPU is just eating it up all the way pretty much until 12,000. If I zoom in here, you can see the uh, CPU, memory, IO, 2D and 3D scores. And the 2D scores, you'll note at 330, it didn't even have a 2D rendering on or GPU rendering. So you'd probably get another 1,000 out of that. So I reckon you could probably get 17 to 18,000. Tegra 4 on Quadrant smashes it, but let's check out, because Quadrant's always a bit of a funny one, you know, it's not the best. Let's check out in Tutu. And, yeah, I mean, we haven't got any detailed scores here, but man, what a score. 36,317. The highest I've ever seen from stuff like the Droid DNA and the Nexus 4 is in the 22,000 racket. So, that is a hell of a lot of score above those two devices so you can see the Tegra 4 really really means business here guys uh, like I said these were on the reference tablets so they might be in performance mode but nonetheless what a beast all right we'll move on to a uh, Sun Spider obviously Sun Spider is a, a browser benchmark and lower is better here guys and you can see it scores 493.6 just as a comparison the iPad 4 scores about 700 milliseconds the Nexus 10 scores about 650 milliseconds so you can see this is the lowest score we've had, and it is getting pretty damn close to, say, um, you know, laptop performance now. I think if you run this on a laptop, you probably get 200 to 150 milliseconds. So we're not very far away from a proper desktop-like experience on the browser. Let's, uh, we'll check out Valermo first, as you can see here. Now, there isn't actually any graphs here, but I can tell you these are pretty good scores. It scores 3,300 on Valermo. Now, I know those don't mean much to you, considering there's no graphs, but we'll check that out later. And uh, the GL benchmark, they only ran one, which I don't really understand why, but it's the GL benchmark 2.5 Egypt HD, which is a pretty intensive one in all fairness, and it scores 57. So these benchmarks, guys, are off the charts. And if I just uh, open up another website here, you can see how they differ from the uh, other devices. Let's uh, take the the GPU, for example, because you know Tegra has always been kind of weak on the GPU side which is a bit annoying, but uh, the closest rival to it is the iPhone 5 with a frame rate of 27. The NVIDIA Tegra 4 scores 57. Now, it's not really a fair comparison because the iPhone 5 is a phone, whereas the uh, NVIDIA Tegra 4 in this was being used in a tablet so it can run hotter and stuff like that. But nonetheless, look at that performance just everywhere. Geekbench, it smashes it. Browser Mark smashes it. And Tutu smashes it by a long shot on top of the HTC One X Plus or any other device and it's uh, it's it's crazy and I've just opened up the iPad 4 benchmarks here to make it a little bit fairer and I'm guessing I mean the one that they show here is the uh, Egypt off-screen test so it's at 1080p which I'm guessing is this one here the Egypt 2.5 Egypt fixed timestamp off-screen 1080p test um, yeah I'm guessing it's that one I mean I'm not completely sure but the iPad scores 42.7 Whereas the uh, NVIDIA Tegra 4 here scored 57. So it could, in fact, be better than the A6X chip that's in the uh, iPad, which was an absolute beast in terms of performance and graphics. So that's a good sign. Check out some more. We've got some uh, other little graphs to show you here. This is the Antutu performance versus the Sony Xperia Z, which is a new phone that hasn't actually been released yet. You can see that score is about 21,000. Nowhere near the uh, Tegra 4 reference tablet, really. The, um, here you go, the GL benchmark this is the graphics test again off screen at 1080p. Again, it soars above everything. You see the Google Nexus 4, the iPhone 5, the Xperia Z here. You know, I'm quite excited about the Tegra 4. I think finally they're going to actually release a, a chip that's, that's awesome. You see the Sun Spider result here. Again, lower is better. So you, it's it's going to be immense. But like I said, this is on the developer 
board, so it could just be running in performance mode. It's still going to be great performance, but you might not quite hit these numbers all the time. So yeah, that's uh, that's the benchmarks, guys. Take them what you will. Benchmarks are just numbers, but this chip is looking good, guys. It's looking very, very strong. So yeah, see you guys later.